Hi, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Chris Kuiper and want to give you a quick update on the Gifford fire here this Tuesday evening, which is now grown to about 84,000 acres. And that's the big that's that's a big fire burning on the Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo County line. Here's Santa Maria right here and then Bakersfield's over here, San Luis Obispo up here and Santa Barbara down there. So it's in somewhat remote territory, but the big update for today is that it's now just about 84,000 acres. That makes it now officially the largest fire in California this year. Still not a huge fire. I mean, compared just to last year's uh, largest fire, which was the Park Fire burning in Northern California, that one burned over 400,000 acres. So 84,000 acres, still a big fire, but not nearly as big as some of the big ones that we've had here in the past few years or so. I want to show you also real quick here a, uh, a time lapse of the fire here through the course of the day. And I want to show you how quiet it is here in the morning. This is start, starting about 8 o'clock in the morning, and we go through 9 and 10 o'clock, and it's active, but not really terribly active out there. And that's because we have the cool air of the morning out there kind of pushing all the smoke down towards the surface and really kind of choking the fire out. The fire needs oxygen to grow and it's just getting choked out with all the smoke and the carbon dioxide down here at the surface. Then we go through the course of the afternoon and we start to heat up the atmosphere a little bit. That allows the smoke to start lifting off the valley floor here, starting to rise a little bit. And you notice that a little bit as well. And then towards the later parts of the afternoon, we'll start to see these plumes here developing here as well. And that's where we're starting to get that efficient circulation in the fire, we're bringing, we're allowing the smoke and the haze and the carbon dioxide and everything to start getting pushed and ventilate up. And now the fire is able to bring in fresh oxygen into the base and it turns into a big circulation there. And that's when the fire really gets very efficient there. If you don't have like big Santa Ana winds blowing, if it's a fairly calm day, like it is somewhat out there today, you get these, uh, you get the circulation going there in the later parts of the afternoon and the early evening. That's when your fire is going to be most active. It'll start to subside after midnight tonight and tomorrow morning will be kind of quiet and we'll repeat the process all over again tomorrow afternoon.